let's make their waveform bigger so we can see what we're what we're saying. I can see all of the syllables in the waveform. One, two, three, four, five, A, six, B, seven, C, eight. D, E, F, G, H, I, J. You know, I can see them too. Wow. Wow. Yeah, like that one right there. That's wow. the H, right? Why am I peeking so much? Wow. 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 Well, because I made it. Because you can make the waveform smaller, see? Wow! <laughs> or you can make it bigger. <laughs> I just like it bigger because you can see it in real time. Welcome back to this really professional show that we're running here. Hi, uh, welcome to tr Professional Chaps, where we, we tell you about our profession. You know, I am a mold technician. Oh, I thought you were going to say a mole. <laughs> I am a mole! <laughs> Is this another one of those secondary pause or start screens? Oh yeah, we landed back on the planet because we got effed up. Oh by the God, man. yeah, from Deuce. Deuce um, man. For anybody who's watching this in a in like a playlist or something, it's going to be interesting because in the previous episode I was not married and now I am. This. Same with me. No, you're not. I, I was not married, and now I am con currently still not married. I'm married to the Force. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, I wake up with heartburn every once in a while, too. That was me the other night. Like, I went to bed, and I had, like, that nasty, like, acid reflux all fucking night. So you know what I did? I got up Shit, at, like, my pants. I got up at, like, 3 in the morning. I just took a swig right out of my Pepto bottle, and it helped, like, immediately. Oh, okay. good. Pepto is, like, one of those things where it actually, like... Works immediately. Yeah, it's because it's such a heavy, viscous liquid. Yeah. Like, it fucking pours down your tum-tum. Well, that's good. Because then it does the job well. Because, uh, like, yeah, like... I, you know what? When I, was, when I was younger, I did not care for the taste of Pepto. Now I kind of do. It kind of... It's actually not that bad tasting. <laughs> no. The only thing is that every time I drink it... It gives me black poops. Oh. I get the blackest of poops. Oh. Well, now, if you know you're in, ever in a casting call and they're like, we need black poops, can you provide us black poops? <laughs> yeah, you're just like, give me one second. You know, oh, God, my stomach. And that's what happens. Oh, it's a manta ray. Am I writing it? Oh, and it's a rhino. A manta rhino. I hope there's a hippo. I like the hippo. Nope. Yeah, they can smell your puss. Ugh. All the way from here. <laughs> your face is fine. I know, alright, it's been a few months since we played this game. Yeah. And I'm already like... <laughs> alright, let's finish this fucking thing. <laughs> let's be done with it, you know? <laughs> Oopsie. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounded like you were coming. What if I was, Billy? Good job. I'm glad. I have I'm needs. glad someone's coming. I have needs too. Uh, uh. I don't remember how to play this game. I will have to test my base out next time when I can actually pay attention to it. I gotta, I gotta, I'm playing to ha tower defense where you also have a tower defense. So you gotta attack and defend. Oh. People can attack you when you're not, you know, playing the game. And uh, I had a pretty good base, like. That's cool. But then I upgraded and I got a whole bunch of new shit, so now I gotta redo it all. It's kind of like, um. Mother of Song 5, they had that in that one where you could, like, create. You, if you. Like, people could invade your mother base or whatever. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's almost oh, exactly like that. like that. It's just not, you know. It's mobile. Yeah. And it's with orcs. Kind of in my uh, my pandemic boredom, I, I've been trying to just maybe like dredge up some older games to play, um, just to be like you know, because I don't want to buy new ones. I don't really feel like spending money on new games right now. Yeah. Um, right now, I've been going back to Last of Us Two. Actually, I'm having fun with that again. But um, good game. But um, I I think at one point I had booted up Mega Solid Five and I played that for a little bit. I'm like, man, this game could have been so much better. <laughs> yeah. Because then, like, you know, I get past, like, the first mission, and I like the first mission. It's great. Like, where you get Miller. 
And yeah. then after that, you like... You see, it, se it seems like a really good game until after that mission. Yeah, until you get past the Miller mission. <laughs> and then it becomes the open world part, and then yeah, it kind of gets shitty. Yep. Because there's no fucking story to the goddamn game. Well, there's game. no story, and it's like... Oh, that's that's another thing that I thought was really interesting, too. Like, okay, there is story, but there's not enough like the old games. Well, yeah, well, you gotta listen to fucking cassette tapes in order to get them. Yeah. Fuck that. My thing was always, too, though, like, people love to piss and moan about Last of Us 2, and I, I'm assuming it's because of the story. Yeah. And yet, like, you look at Metal Gear Solid 5, and people love that game, and the story was shitty. Yeah. Like, it didn't even finish. Like, the game did never conclude it, you know? So I don't get it. I think people just like to be mad at shit. I don't know. Yeah, people, people did not like that, uh... The Last of Us is winning a bunch of awards. Yeah, I don't understand it. Like, as time has gone on, I've kind of, like, not understood it more. Because, like, I know, like, not that I take his, his opinion for, for gospel, but, like, you know, um, Yahtzee of Zero Punctuation mm -hmm. put it as his number one worst game of 2020. I'm like, how? In what way could it be, like, the worst game? Yeah. Like, one, the combat and stuff like that just played better than in the first Last of Us. Yeah, it did. The story... Not the greatest, no. In some aspects, but also not the worst. Yeah. No, like there's others. Oh, game like look at Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Like I'd say like that was worse. <laughs> like uh, see, granted, I love Cyberpunk. I think you know, it's got a great story. No, I, I'm not saying I haven't even played it, but I'm just saying like the launch of it was a was a fucking hot mess. Yes, you know. Not saying the game can't be good, like after some patching, but I'm just saying like you know initially like that would have been a really disappointing. Thing to spend that much time waiting for an, that anticipated of a game, you know, it gets such a such a shitty, yeah, it sucks shitty that, launch. <laughs> it sucks that it came out. It, like it, the thing is, it came out still pretty good on place or um, PC, PC, yeah, yeah, and decent on PS5 and Xbox, um, whatever, whatever. It was just the previous consoles that were broken. Yeah, they weren't which, they weren't optimized for that at all. <laughs> Which, they clearly hid that, which is not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, But the story is awesome. Yeah, the game looks cool. Like, I'll, I'd check it out, like, on a deep sale. I, I'm not in any hurry to get it. But, like, I'm just saying, like, you know, at least when Last of Us came out, it was a finished game. Yes. You know, like, it was done. Yeah, it was done, everything, and the story, you know, pretty decent. Not, nothing too extraordinary. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't really understand where all of the, the hatred and ire comes from with the people who are really, like, you know, against the game. Yeah, it's because people, you know... Because at first I thought it was, like, is it just because Joel gets killed? Like, is that it? Like, That's what I thought, too. But then I see people complain about... Like, so many other parts of yeah. the story. The and main thing I, th I see is most people hate Gabby. I, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Abby, like, uh, you know, but, like, I understand, like, what her character is supposed to represent within the game. Yeah. And, like, not only that, too, but, like, you know, I, I'm not saying that the story is, like, without its faults. Like, there's definitely problems. My, my main issue with the game is that there's too many flashbacks. Yes. And there's a lot of stretches of gameplay that have no story relevance whatsoever. Yeah. Like, that's my only, like, you know, because, like, you know, the part where you're going to the hospital to get the shit for, for Yara's arm. Yeah. Like, there's no story development for, like, several hours of gameplay. Like, it's just you going to this place, you know? There's plenty of times where you play as Ellie where it's the same deal. With, like, yeah. so many hours of the game, you're just going to a place. Yeah. And, and it's like, they did that in the first game, too, but I feel like... There, there was a reason for it, yeah. for the most part. And, and it was, or it at did, least a reason you know, enough that, you know, I, it didn't become there, a problem. Yeah, there wasn't as much time between story beats, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, because I'm playing through it again. I still, I still have a lot of fun with it. I think it's a cool game. I think the main flaw with it is that they don't they don't elicit probably the feelings they want me to elicit for Abby. Yeah. Like I do not like her at all. I actually hate her. Yeah, she's kind of a shitty shitty person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not gonna, I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> all it made me do is I would if I was in Ellie's shoes, I wouldn't even after knowing what she went through and all that kind of stuff, I would have still drowned her yeah. in that moment. Even though, you know, clearly that wouldn't be a thing that you would want to do. And I know mm -hmm. even Joel wouldn't want that for me. Yeah. I'd like still do game. it. Like in the game. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I I don't know. I, I, I've 
tried to rationalize it in my head, and I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, I liked it, so who cares? <laughs> we can Why don't you just do that for the start? <laughs> yeah, right. We can, just... we can talk over this part, because we've already fought a fucking turtle in this game. Yeah, that's now best game of the year. Probably not. Uh, I don't know. Worst game of the year? Probably not. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the games that I played in 2020, and I, I honestly don't know what I would say. It was probably... I think I enjoyed Metro more, overall. Oh, I loved Metro. I was really into Metro, like, more so than I thought I would be. Like, I loved Last of Us 2, don't get me wrong, I had a good time with it. But, like, for some something in Metro just really hit with me. Yeah, Metro is super nice. Super... I really liked that game. I love really the Metro series. That might be one I go back to play sometime soon. I am angry boy. And I have awoken. No, I haven't. <laughs> I think I've just now realized too, this late in the game, that the quick time events, if you fuck them up, it has, I don't think it affects what happens <laughs> more so than it just it affects your score. Reduces, it, yeah, your points like you and get stuff. Your, yeah, like the S rank and shit that you get at the end. I'm sure there's some that are like, if you fail them, you fail. Yeah. Especially in the cutscene ones. Yeah. But, oh, like, it seems like mostly it's Karma Fortress Ruins. I don't remember. Did it did it crash or something? I thought we were on it when we got knocked back down to the planet. Well, we exploded it because it was trying to use its super beam cannon thingy. The Brahmastra. Yeah, the Brahmastra. And then, like, we broke it. Because oh. we remember we were doing like that segment where we were running up the thing. Oh, yeah. Do a mic drop. Do a mic drop. Wow. It's all in there? Yeah. I need you to eat this. <laughs> no, I know you're not going to like this. But you're going to have to eat it. Oh. Is it, yeah, these are the eight cents. I wouldn't have put the old man a sloth. Yeah, right. I would have thought he he would have been pride. Dude, it's the and the big gauntlet. guy was gonna be sloth. It's the infinity gauntlet, dude. <laughs> it's the infinity thingy. It's the infinity mantra. I'm gonna. Oh my, oh my. When was this a thing? So he's definitely a robot. So wait, he's got a big old USB on his chest? Yeah. That's just perfect for this thing? We're gonna Iron Man this. It didn't even, like... You didn't slot it in or anything. It just transferred. That's... that. I don't think that's how that works. Can he do that? Yeah, can... Does your chest open? I mean, it looks like it Come does. Come do it. Is he doing it? Oh. Oh, you gonna... oh, he's gonna sacrifice himself to fill out the thing? Because he's the rest of the mantra? I guess. Fucking rip your heart out, motherfucker. I guess that makes sense. But maybe not. Oh, my fucking tits. Ow. Ooh. I only have a couple of seconds before my heart. Well, this thing he gives out. and So, yeah, all these guys are robots then. How I weird. Enjoyed. How weird. No wonder why they can do all this bullshit. <laughs> and the humans are like... And then he dies. How did you know you could do this? Yeah. <laughs> Who designed you? <laughs> Are you it's Apple or Windows? <laughs> yeah. He wakes up Linux, bitch. <laughs> Temple OS, bitch. <laughs> Have you seen Temple OS? Do you know what that is? <laughs> There was this guy that made his own, like, biblical-themed OS, oh, and he God. was a weird, like, schizophrenic dude. I think his name was, like, Terry Davis or something. He's dead now, unfortunately. But yeah, rest, you can, in, rest in peace. You can find videos of him, but, like, yeah, he made this, like, really archaic OS that, like, like didn't have any functionality. <laughs> but he did it. Hey? You can find a bunch of videos of him on YouTube. Like, you can look him up. It's very interesting, because it's just a guy, like, this poor, sad, lonely man who just, like, made this OS, and he would live stream ins him himself, and he would, like, say a lot of racist, insensitive things and whatever. And it's just, like... <laughs> what was his name? Terry Shiva? I think it was Ter Terry A. Davis or something. You remember Terry Shiva? Nope. She's that person that, uh, was put on life support, and, uh... 
her husband's like, let's, uh, basically it was like, we, we can let her die because she's just in a vegetative state. And then her parents were like, no. And then there was a big custody battle on like who, sounds, who gets to decide, the, yeah. the husband or the family. That sounds vaguely familiar. And it was a big thing in Florida. And South Park made a song. Terry Shivo is kind of alive o. <laughs> that reminds me of another person named uh, Terry Fox. He had some kind of, I don't know, uh, Melissa is probably going to hate me for not getting it right, but he's some guy, he was a Canadian who ran across like the provinces or something like that. And, like, there's, oh, like, so he's Forrest run, Gumped it? Kind of, but I don't, I don't know how, I don't, I, maybe I'm getting it wrong, I forget exactly what he did, but he was a runner guy. Okay. And they have like signs of him in certain areas of, I think in Elsa Craig or something like that. We drive by it all the time. There's a Terry Fox sign. So he was a murder boy. He said, "I'm gonna go run across what the provinces." What kind of vegetables boy? do robots eat? Um. Oh, there's totally a joke in there somewhere. Yeah, right. What kind of what kind of vegetables do robots eat? Um. Ribs. <laughs> Spare ribs. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video. Is this a fucking flashback episode? Fuck off. Why did I pay money for this bullshit? You know how this would be. It was dumb. Azura's flashback. Azura's payment plan. <laughs> Azura's college debt. <laughs> Mithra schooling ain't free, baby. And then you see him with his fucking uh, his six arms or a hundred arms, and he's just like flipping burgers, yeah. like <laughs> go busking. Yeah, play like six guitars at once. <laughs> You'd be like Mangel Michelangelo Badio, but with six guitars instead. Of <laughs> oh, so he's not dead. You get a six-necked guitar. You rip your own heart out. That was a really low polygon bandages. Yeah, right. That's weird. Okay, I thought this was like a fucking flashback or something because they're fighting. Is that the Bodhisattva? Thousand hand Bodhisattva. Oh my. That's like the new Karma Fortress, is that guy? It's, yeah, he, uh, he grew. He's like, I've got a fucking I'm, shit eating grin. <laughs> I've gained some weight. <laughs> I look more Buddhist. There's power. Why is this a rude awakening? <laughs> Did he slap his nuts and be like, hey, <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ow, no. I was not ready for that. Uh oh, he said wants to come in. Where'd you get the new mask from? We <laughs> broke your other one. <laughs> He's a robot. He probably fashioned it out of his own fucking legs. <laughs> he fashioned it out of his own chest plate. Yeah. <laughs> I got this new mask. Oh no, I went to DD, DD's R Us. I 3D printed it. <laughs> He's gotta be. It's gonna. It set comes out of my ass. You gotta. It's gotta set still. So don't. You can't yeah, be too. Yeah, aggressive. Don't be too rough. I uh, put it on a nice UV bath, so uh, it's definitely set there. But like, right, this guy. You, know, you gotta be gentle with it. Because <laughs> yeah. they're all horizontal lines, so they don't have like the greatest uh, uh, strength in all terms. No, he said. <laughs> As you guys are just fucking fighting. <laughs> Bumped her fucking head into the door like I want in here. <laughs> Can I come in? And oh, she's going back up. It's bullshit. I live in this house too. I deserve to be in every room. Either I'm not doing well or like maybe this is I don't know. I think I'm just doing a poor job. Probably. But you know, it's been a hot minute. It has been a hot minute. I have not played this game in, in a bit. at least a month. More than that, I think. Yeah. You can read every move. Why are we fighting? Why don't you read a book, butthole? No, I can't. You know I can't read. No, I think I'm. I think I'm supposed to beat him. I just gotta do better. Yeah. You know, it just uh, it, 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 it makes so much difference that everyone's a robot. I know. I don't understand it, dude. Like. Personally, how the big guy turn into a big robot? You, that would the materials needed <laughs> yeah, right. to make such a large robot. Unless this mantra, like solar energy, is super magical, which personally, 
That's probably why they don't allow necromancy in, in the real world anymore. It's because it's probably true. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh! I got you, bitch. Oh, I got you, bitch. Hold nothing back. Except, nothing? Except everything. Uh, except the poops. Yeah. Oh, hold the poops back. Do you think they poop 3D printed poops? Because oh, that's what comes out their ass. Poop vegetables. Do, do they probably have 3D printers in their asses, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. It's like, are you in the bathroom? <laughs> like that's all yeah. you hear. <laughs> I'm just getting rid of some data. It's a data dump. <laughs> that's the sound of when I when I poop. <laughs> that sound happens yeah. every time. Come on, dude. I only need like just, a little bit yeah, more. Come just on. fucking like do it, man. I'm trying to. Why don't you stop fucking like it's fucking up? Oh, I blew it. I blew it. That was my that was my ticket right there. Is that fucking attack? I blew it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't blow yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't blow it. Every single time he does the burst, he does like they've reused that animation so many freaking times. Yeah, I know. There it is again, just on a just, different. Yeah. What are we Goku in this? Fuck! Shit! I'm pushing it harder than you are. And I'm pushing my face even farther into your fist. How did this? This is not an attack. Uh, you know, <laughs> where if you can push your fist against the other person's face, and then the other person can push their face back, it, uh, it is not an oh, attack. Oh, the flashback part. Fucking stupid bullshit. <laughs> Whoever can stick their fingers in Master's ass first. Get to decide where we eat tonight. Burger King or Sonic? <laughs> I want Sonic. Burger King has superior fries. <laughs> but I like Sonic has dreams. hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I had to pick between the two, I'd pick Sonic. <laughs> I do really like the the Smokehouse Burger that's been in, in Burger King though. What the fuck? How do I what? Just you're falling and fighting at the same time. I'm fall fighting. Because this is probably an infinitely high tower. Yeah, we're probably in uh, the Naraka or whatever. <laughs> you know, it just shows that, like, uh, since you guys are robots, you can be all the way up this high and, uh,. It's fine because you don't need to breathe because there's no oxygen up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would explain why they could breathe in space. Yeah, it does. They're fucking robots. I just thought he had weird, like, art style pecs. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're made of clay or something. Yeah, but nope, they are. They're just robots. They're just robots with weird clay outsides. That regenerate somehow too. <laughs> yeah. Because there's no telling how many fucking. It's the 3D printer in their ass. They just shit and like slap it on. You can't do my attack against me. You can't tell me what to do. When life hands me lemons, I'll make beef stew. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know how much you love Andy Milanakis, but. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> That's what I felt like when we went to Divoli's. Yeah. I'm like, Andy? <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, right. Just girl version of Andy? Girl version of Andy Milanakis. And then she <laughs> talked to me, and I'm like, don't talk to me. I don't want to be on a list. <laughs> well. Because everyone knows if you talk to people that are underage, that are the opposite sex of you, you are definitely gonna try and fuck them. That's how it works. <laughs> that's how the world works. Yeah, now. that's how the world works. <laughs> you think I wanna commit, uh, commit suicide in, in prison? Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you really feel like... That's what I'm saying, dude. He did not fucking commit suicide. Yeah, do, <laughs> I am not convinced. What is, uh, what, is, what is the way people say it? It's like, I don't wanna be forced to... Commit undead 
or uh, uh, there's something. I can't remember the thing, but I think it's fucking clever. Uh, where basically it's like, why is it so dark all of a sudden? Because <laughs> now you're in the clouds. Yeah. Oh, because then to do shots like this. I don't. I don't want to be forced to be commit commit undeadness. Or deadness, I don't know. Fuck See, concerned. at this point, too, like, I don't really care about the quick time events as much because I'm like, I just want to beat the game. <laughs> yeah. I've enjoyed this series so far, don't get me wrong, but I think, like, we've seen so much happen that, like, even now playing it, I just feel, like, worn out. <laughs> you know? It's just so over the top. Yeah, it's so over the top and it continues to be over the top. Like, there's no lulls in this, which no, I feel like no. the, the pacing would definitely help. Well, the, the lulls were when we were, like, in the fucking, like, you know, hot bath with the naked women and the bat guy with the big dick, you know? Yeah, <laughs> big sword, big, big dick. Big, big extendo yeah. dick, yeah. Fucking senpai. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, next time in Chester Jazz, we'll, we'll pick this up. Remember, don't grab girls in the bath, because big dick sword guy will fucking crush your pussy. Thank you.